What's up, what's happening? What is going on, Cantaloupes? I've always had this idea that in order to be a professional baseball player, you have to be pretty smart and pretty witty. MLB players are not perfectly trained robots. They don't just pitch, hit, catch, and, and ground balls. They, they could do a lot of cool things. I'm Mike Canalupo, and these are the 10 smartest plays in MLB history. Miguel Cabrera, don't walk me. Miggy is the best hitter of this era. That's, that's safe to say, right? He could crush any pitch you throw at him, especially in the middle of his career. In a 2006 game, extra innings, Orioles, Marlins, Miggy gives the Marlins a lead with this. There's the go-ahead run. Ramirez at second base. First base is open now. and Line drive to center field. A base hit for Cabrera, who swung at that pitch. What a smart play by Cabrera. Williams didn't get it far enough outside, and Cabrera alertly swung at it. Dustin Pedroia, keep the heads up. Pedroia is one of the smartest players in all of baseball. He's an all-star second baseman for the Boston Red Sox. He's small, but kind of deadly. He easily stole the second base in this one, but he wanted more. There goes Pedroia. Ortiz takes the throw to second base. Safe. And taken off for third is Pedroia. He'll get there. Nobody covered the bag. The shift was on. Heads up, base running for Dustin Pedroia. I love any time you can exploit the shift. Todd Helton's hidden ball trick. Yes, it actually worked. Cardinals, Rockies, 2013 game. Todd Helton couldn't pick off Matt Carpenter of the Cardinals. Then he pulled out the good old hidden ball trick and worked to absolute perfection. Up by Jay to center. Holiday fly to deep center. And he's out. How about that? Helton faked him out. The old veteran. Act, take a look here. Uh-oh. Catcher catches Swisher. Tigers, Indians, 2013 game. Nick Swisher hit a foul ball down the third baseline, but catcher Brian Pena waited for it to go fair. Then he got Swisher out. Heads up. I love it. Nubbed down the third base line. Pena hoping it goes back fair, and it does. Swisher's going to be out. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, Pena. that is terrible for Nick Swisher. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful, Brian Pena. Swisher's going to hear about this. Back to see what Swisher was doing. He noticed Swisher wasn't running, so he waited until the ball was in fair territory, and he got the out. Great, great play by Brian Pena. Rizzo and Ross equal pure teamwork. Nationals-Cubs 2015 game. Anthony Rizzo goes way off of first base. Clint Robinson obviously felt safe with a big lead from the bag, but David Ross and Rizzo use creativity and a little bit of teamwork to nab him. Throw to first, they're going to get him! Out at first! Out at first! Oh, Cubs win! Wow! David Ross just won the game! To get Ross, you see the play, you see Rizzo break? Wasn't even close! Yeah, you know, and, and Robinson pressing his case down there. He may have gotten that hand in there before the tag, but the throw was well ahead of him. Ryan Goins catches Todd Frazier napping. Blue Jays, Yankees, 2017. Jose Batista makes a great catch to deny Jacoby Ellsbury of a double. Then he doubled up Todd Frazier at second also. We're out of it. Here's the catch from Bautista. Goes back, hauls it in, and then throws the ball back in. Let's see what happened. He's off. The hidden ball the trick. The hidden ball trick. He lifts up his foot, shuffles his feet, and lost contact. And Goins had the ball on Frazier. Rockies nabbed the MVP. Astros Rockies 2013. The Astros had runners on the corner, but leave it to catcher Willen Rosario to fake a throw to second. 
on a double steal play. 200, excuse me, 231 against Brothers. Huge jump, and now they got Altuve hung up. Good block by Rosario. And a good feed to Brothers, and Brothers will tag out Altuve. Well, for those that... Rays execute the hidden ball trick. It happened again. Rays, Dodgers 2013. The Rays were getting blown out early in the game, but they pulled off a great ball trick to get out of the inning. Pay really close attention to this one. You see Loney has the ball, and he's right above the pitcher's mound. There you see James Loney right there. Okay, now he's got it. Uribe over here on the left, he's got his head down. Now Escobar has the ball. He throws it over to Longoria. So now the ball's over at third base. Longoria has it. Nobody knows Uribe, third base coach. Nobody's aware that Longoria has it. Uribe steps off. Boom. Uribe standing at third base. You know, third base coach is there. Now Longoria has the ball. Now watch Uribe. You watch that. The foot comes off, and Longoria's right there. But most important on that entire play right there, Angel Hernandez, the umpire, knows exactly where the ball is. He's able to make that call. And Paul O'Neill turns to soccer. Paul O'Neill is a five-time World Series champion with the Yankees. Well, four with the Yankees, one with the Reds. Uh, this was the Reds and Phillies in an 89 game. He actually thought the Phillies won the game and angrily kicked the ball to first base. And in classic Paul O'Neill fashion, his anger somehow made it work. In the ninth. Base hit right field, but they're going to have to hold Jelts at third ball. And now the ball gets away from O'Neill. He kicks it to Benzinger. No, I do not believe this. I, this is the all-timer, Tommy. He kicked the ball to Todd Benzinger. The absolute all-time play I may have ever seen. Paul O'Neill gave up on the ball game. He assumed with a deep Jelts was going to score. Steve Jills had to hold up because of the line drive past Benzinger. Bartolo Colon, the GOAT. Yeah, pretty much everybody's favorite person in history is Bartolo Colon. He is a living legend that's still doing it. Uh, you know, like, honestly, there should be statues of him. You need any evidence? Take a look at this. He's just keeping the ball away from Boar the whole game. He wants to get it. There, ball! Behind the back, flip, and he got it! some mustard on it. This man will live forever. By Bob Cousy. <laughs> He's almost as old as Cousy. <laughs> He's smiling. What do you think is the most creative play in MLB history? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Until next time, I'm Mike Canalupo. Thanks for watching.